finished product. Solar dehydrator. It's all painted. Let's walk around it. Okay. And the vents covered in screen. Let the air flow through it. Alright. Alright, so here's basically taking the cover off. Like so. You can see on the outside here. We got the plexiglass. We got the one by twos sitting here keeping the plexiglass in so it doesn't come out when you move it. So a view from the inside. It's a little dirty because it's been out. It's been used. It's been used. Collecting dust. Let me see if I can actually zoom in and get it. This is the inside. You can see the corner braces here that we put on. And then the one by two on the inside that holds the plexiglass in for the cover. Okay, I'll hold the cover if you want. I don't have any handles on the cover, I just grab it. Well, the original design had like a, you could do a lift up cover or something like yeah, that, and that was too complicated it was too complicated. <laughs> so here's the trays on the inside. You can see that they're covered with the metal screen. We found out the hard way the first time we tried to dehydrate strawberries directly on the metal screen and that they, didn't work out very well. So. They melt into the screen so yeah. put something like um, parchment paper or wax paper or something down you could get those silicone bakeware things and lay those down in there too. So. Yeah. And the trays are you know a bit smaller probably at least a quarter inch smaller than the the width of the inside of this box so we can pull these out smoothly. You see there we got the screen stapled to the tray and the corner braces on the bottom. All right. And this one here is unusual. We didn't have enough we didn't have enough one by two so we just threw in a two by two instead. The rest of them have the two, the one by two in the center. No big deal. They use all sorts of scrap fun stuff. So you got those, those slide in and out pretty easily. Easily enough anyway. And then, oh we need to talk about the, the wheels. So we decided to put on the wheels on the front so that it's much easier to roll around. Get the hose out of the way a little bit. So what I did is I took a 4x4 four four and I cut it, which is actually 3.5 inches I believe, and this is 3.5 inches here, and this is a 45 degree angle. So when the whole box is at a 45 degree angle, this will be level, the surface here will be level, so you can easily attach wheels to it on the front and on the other side. So all you got to do, pan back. All you got to do is lift this end up a little bit and you can move it around move it around like this so you can keep it directly in the sun's path as the sun changes throughout the day. So you got that. And then depending on what wheels you get, it'll dictate how high or low this is. So based on the size of wheel you get, this, the length of this, or how far up or down this is screwed in here, is kind of going to depend on, from the designs, depend on how big the wheel is. It's going to be slightly different. So, I kind of set this box at a 45 degree angle, and then, at that point, measured this out, cut it, and attached it. And it just happened to be... Uh, I believe 39 and a half inches from here to here or two. That's in the drawing. So I think that's about it. Finished product. Looks pretty good. Works really well. Yeah, it does. 
You can put the cover back on. There you go.